Welcome back everyone to another episode of my R2 Build. I hope you're having a really great day. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how um, I'm gonna organize the wiring inside my dome a little bit better. Now, Helmet on the Astromech site has provided STL files for these 3D printed spools that hold the extra wiring from your servos so that um, they're easier to replace out a servo in case it burns out. So I've uh, printed off about 25 of these things and I'm going to show you how they're going to get installed into the dome. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, here's the inside of my dome. I've got most of my servos installed already. And uh, as you can see, uh, the servo wires are kind of long there. Um, I do, do not want to just wrap them inside the dome and try and get them to their uh, uh, microprocessors that control them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install the servo spools that Helmut's provided and uh, the extra wiring from the servo gets wrapped around inside of here and then the connector gets plugged in here so that you can just unplug and plug in a servo whenever you need to. So uh, let's go check it out and I'll show you some uh, diagrams of how Helmut's done his and, and his droid. Okay, let's take a look at uh, these spool, um, servo spools that uh, Helmut's put together. So uh, I'll just show you first the inside of his dome. It's pretty awesome. He's got uh, all of his accents here in white with an aluminum dome. And as you can see, he's got these white spool servo wire holders all the way around here. So if I zoom in, you can see that next to each servo, there's one of these things. And what you'd basically do is um, print these out and he's had them all installed with a captive stud that goes through the dome. It's got this um, ring here that goes inside of here. This is a cap. And then this goes on top that holds the servo connector. Uh, the next one over shows you kind of how it's put together. And so if you need to unplug your server, you just unplug it, pop this top cap off, take the wiring out, and your uh, all your wires for that server are right there. Uh, here's one where it's <clears throat> attached next to a servo. So that's basically what I'm going to do. So I printed off my own. I'm going to show you those uh, right now and how I uh, painted and weathered them. Uh, so let's take a look at that next. Okay, these are the four parts that uh, Helmut's provided for the servo spools. It starts off with the spool part here with a hole through the center. That's where a captive stud can go if you want to bolt it onto your inner dome. The wire for your servo gets wrapped around here. This gets placed over top and then the wires come out of here. You push this down and it snaps together. And then once that's in place, um, you snap this guy on top and that holds the servo connector like so and then you plug in your extension onto there and then you cap the whole thing with uh, that cap right there. Now what I found after printing all this out is uh, these two pieces here could probably be printed together. But what I did is I printed them all and then I glued them together so um, they're one piece. I also found that when you snap this guy on here it's next to impossible to get them off because it's such a tight fit. So I made a modification. Uh, this is my setup. It's got a little bit uh, better tolerance here for this so they can snap on and off if you need to. Plus it gives you more room inside of here for the wires. Um, so what I did is I printed them all, glued the top on so it looks like that. So the reason it looks kind of aged is because I printed it, then I sprayed it with this uh, Vallejo gloss black, and then sprayed it with this semi-matte aluminum. I've got a bunch of this aluminum, it's not too bad. It came out quite bright, shiny, and I wanted to age it a bit, so then I took some black paint, um, painted it all black, and then rubbed that off to give it this aged look. And my caps look like that, so they've got I don't know if you noticed on this original here, it's got this little recess in here. Gives, gives it some depth and uh, kind of a neat look. So what I did is I, I kept that, but 
to help with painting. I just printed these little stickers. The silver part is a sticker on my Cricut. Put that in there, then I black washed it. Then I put a coat of actually um, matte ferrothane on there to hold it all together. And I made all of my servos have the red cap and I have three of these that I'm gonna use for my hollow projectors and I made it with a green cap. So uh, the way it goes together is like this. So let me just take, um, you don't even see this part here so it doesn't have to be painted. So this, you're just gonna wrap this around um, to take up the extra, extra wire. Then we're gonna take this guy here, put this through, and then bring that guy in there. Let's get that through there. And then that snaps on. Obviously, you're probably gonna have more lead than that on the servo. And then click this on here, like so. And then you're gonna cap it with that. So that's what it's gonna look like. So thanks for watching. Those are gonna all be in my dome. Uh, and if you want the files, I've got a link in the description below. God bless you and we'll see you real soon.